You know, one of the booths that always brings us new product every year is here at the Hobby People booth. Mike, how you doing? Doing great. Good to see you again Thanks as for always. By. Thank you. You got some great new products for us. I'm going to let you take over and kind of walk us through what you got and just show us what's going on. Absolutely. I'm really excited to be here at Toledo again in 2015. Hobby People has a brand new line of competition, all metal case, Hobby People Pro servos. And the leader of the pack is the new Brushless 320, which is a 320 ounce inch servo, high voltage, high speed, high performance servo. Now wait a minute, high speed, high torque, high voltage, and an aluminum case with a brushless? That's right. What are we looking at for a price on something like that? Because that sounds like an astronomical amount of money to get all those in one case. $119.99. $119.99. Every day on our website. No kidding. Yeah. May I? Yeah. I'll be so nice. in a, whether you got a 700 size helicopter for cyclic or sure. whether you're running an RC car or you got a big airplane that's got lots of big control services moving mm -hmm. a lot, this servo is going to stand up to that. And these things are solid. I mean, they're well built. I mean, yeah. they just, they're heavy. Yeah. They're good servos. It is a, it is a specialty servo mm -hmm. designed to really pack a punch. So you're, 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 you're talking about the Hobby People Pro Servo line. Yeah. I'm assuming there's a whole line of these, not just this one in particular, This correct? truly is the top of the line mm -hmm. in the group, and it's specialty for that. Uh, we have several other servos that work in other size helicopters, work in small, like the 450 size okay. or 500 size. Uh, we've got thin wing servos. Okay. Um, so there's a, a myriad of applications that these servos are going to be great for. Sure. In, in my world, I'm a real scale aviation enthusiast. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we got to get high power into a very thin wing or a mm -hmm. small space. So we have like a 10 millimeter wide servo really? with 107 ounce inches of torque. That's So that a wing like servo a yeah. that mm -hmm. pops right in or sh slightly shorter version, okay. like your, what would normally be like an 18 or 20 gram mm -hmm. size servo, a mini servo, mm -hmm. uh, but an all metal case, 10 millimeter wide with 84 okay. ounce inches of torque. That sounds like a great deal. And you got a whole line of them, so I mean, you, you got a servo to fit everybody's need. Uh, almost, yeah. Okay. Uh, we've also got a couple of uh, high voltage, but not as expensive, like sport servos. Okay. So like you're going to outfit the ser the airplane with all these super duper servos, mm -hmm. but you don't need that for your throttle. Okay. So we have a right. thirty dollar Metal Gear but plastic case servo. Okay. And these are all available now. Yeah. Okay. They're in stock so, right now. All right. Yeah. So, so the, the, we're really excited about the HP Pro line. You're going to see more mm -hmm. coming over the course of the next year. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I noticed we got a new charger sitting here as well. Why don't you uh, give us a little uh, information and, and tell us what's going on with that? Yeah, this is a, a new charger in the Hobby People Activator Charger line. This is an 80 watt, okay. where it used to be a 50 watt. This is a new higher power version of our old Activator 50. Okay. It's an 80 watt. Um, it does all the things you would expect it to do. It works mm -hmm. on all the different kinds of batteries. It's multi-chemistry and you can cycle. But it, one of the nice things is it comes with the temperature sensor. Okay. So every time you charge, you can always have the charger monitoring your battery temperature. Sure. Um, which to me is a big safety feature. Um, so you can even set that temperature in the charger, you can program that yourself to whatever temperature you want. Okay. So maybe you can be a little bit more cautious with lipos or maybe a little bit higher with the nickel metal high drive sure. so that the charger's got like a double check. Okay. And that's just built in and it comes with the sensor. All right. And this is available now as well? This is available at Hobby right. People every day. What kind of price are we looking at for this 80 watt Around charger? About $70. About $70. All right. Sounds good. Now I know you've got, um, we covered several of your VQ line airplanes at the show last year. That's right. Had some really good, uh, you know, hits on that and looked like they were some great airplanes, but you got some new stuff, some special stuff this year, correct? Right. So last year we released five new airplanes here at Toledo. Mm -hmm. uh, two of them, in fact, which have become very popular is the electric P-47 and Flybaby, which is a like a 20 size of your flying globe, but mm -hmm. you get 28, 14 electric, 2200 milliamp, sure. that size. They've become very popular 
we reorder, 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 everybody likes them. Uh -huh. um, kind of off of the success of that, we got to thinking, what should we make next? Well, Team Airtronics, our best friend in Team Airtronics, flies an F-82. One of our good friends that flies with them is Ken Wagner with Lady Alice. Okay. Um, our number one agent for VQ in Germany is in love with the JU-52. So this is the cornerstone of what we've come out with uh, for this year. So let me cover the JU-52 first. This is a true tri-motor. Oh, okay. You, this is a wood ARF, fiberglass cows. You put in three electric motors, three speed controls, three batteries. Uh, one, excuse me, one battery, but ganged up to sure. the three power systems. And the, the wings come off easy. It's really a sport model version of a JU-52. Okay. Anybody could fly one. It's super simple to work with. Mm -hmm. Yet when you're done, you've got a very scale looking airplane. Okay. It's very electric friendly. The whole top comes off. Okay. Um, what kind of wingspan? This is a 63 inch wingspan. 63 inch. So it's actually a pretty decent size. So yet it's big enough that you can see it in the air yet small enough you can take it apart and put it in your small car. Well, and because it's a, yeah, the, a plug-in wing, mm -hmm. like a bigger airplane normally would be, you get a very small package when you pop those wings off. Okay. So it'll drop into the back of relatively small vehicles. Sure. Now, is that one available now as well? Yeah, everything you see here is everything available. Everything is available. What kind of price do we have on that? Uh, this airplane is in the $200 range. Okay. Um, it's going to you know, according to which dealer you get it from, they may be $10 less or something. But sure. You get the idea. Um, we didn't bring in a lot of them. This was truly made for the German market, and it turns out we were wrong, and we're moving toward being out of them soon. Okay. And it will Time be a few before, you get, before <laughs> we get more. Um, back in California, in uh, a couple of the clubs I belong to, mm -hmm. Ken Wagner, um, Dr. Wagner is a real P-51 owner. He okay. owns Lady Alice, which he flies at air shows and stuff in Southern California. But he's a modeler. He flies jets and flies scale with us and a tremendously positive person in our local hobby community. Uh, so we got the bright idea to make a VQ P-51 in with his color scheme. Sure. And the last time the owner of EQ was out, we took him to the hangar and Chino and showed him the plane. Mm -hmm. So he was very excited about it and very familiar with the plane. Um, he did update the P-51 from older versions of VQ P-51s. Okay, so this is basically a new model. Yes. Okay. It is not just the same old P-51 with new covering. Mm -hmm. And we now have flaps. We have optional electric retracts with matching oleo struts. Okay. You'll notice the tail wheel's now in the correct position instead of being off the rudder. Uh, and we now have a magnetic battery hatch so you can get the battery in and out easy. So this airplane is very electric friendly. Okay, but you can fly it with a glow engine if you wanted yeah, to as well. Yeah, it's great with a 74 stroke. Okay. But it's also great with electric. Your hobby people has a G46 mm -hmm. electric motor that's perfect for it. Perfect, all right. So. We already know it's available. What kind of pricing? $199. $199. Sounds like a good deal to me. Now, we've got another version of a Mustang sitting above us that looks really cool. One of the coolest guys I've ever met, a true American hero, uh, Colonel Bob Thacker. He's an AMA Hall of Fame member. Um, and he's sponsored by Team Airtronics. He's been flying our radios for decades. Okay. And that's how I came to know him. He's now 97 years old, still comes in, he still flies with us, <laughs> just a tremendous guy. He actually flew Betty Jo, the F-82, set the Hawaii to New York speed record that still stands today. Really? Wow. And his airplane is in the Air Museum in Dayton. Okay. So I went to the Colonel, I said, hey, can would you feel bad if we made a model of your plane and put your name on it and stuff? And he says, no, you need to do it. Let's do it. It's a great idea. So 
we worked on this for quite a while, and now we have a what I would call a sport F-82 that anyone could really fly. Uh, this one is the one I'm flying. It's okay. got uh, the prototype retract, so it doesn't have the production struts on it. Okay. Um, I'm using two electric motors, the Hobby People G46, five cell 6500 pack, so I get a nice long flight, mm -hmm. about eight minutes. Okay. Uh, the flaps are functional. It's got the Colonel's name on it. It's, it's fairly accurate. Okay. And it, it's a joy to fly. This is a two meter wingspan airplane. It, it's three piece wing, everything unbolts and comes apart. Uh, now, when, for very trans convenient. For transport, can you just pull the outside wing? Yeah, apart? absolutely. Okay. I, to bring it here, mm -hmm. we took it all apart. Right. But normally, in the just car, I only take the wingtips off. Okay, that makes it really easy for transport. Super then. easy. Sure. And this one, just like the other P-51 we talked about, has the, the magnetic, magnetic hatch, hatch okay. so you can put the battery right in, put your straps on. It's sure. very easy to use. Okay. And they fly nice? It's a joy. It cool. just is. Uh, I'm not pushing these motors too hard. I've still got plenty of power, mm -hmm. good climb, pops right off the ground, even if I screw up and come off too soon. <laughs> I got enough power to get out of it. it it's, a, it's a fun airplane. Sweet. So what do we got for a price on something like this? This is about 380. 380. But you know, you, you think, well, maybe 380 is kind of a lot of money, but then you start thinking, well, you get two fuselages. Get, you know, three piece wing, three piece two tails. Wing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a relatively complicated airplane to get all together and match and mm -hmm. make sure it's, it's perfect. Yep. And when you think about it, what else is out there that's like it? And it's nothing. nothing. And it's a two meter airplane. This yep. isn't some small 48 inch wingspan airplane. Right. This is 79 inches. It's a big airplane. Yeah. Yep. Very cool. Well. Mike, I appreciate the time today. Thank you so much. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you.